Hi guys, welcome to another video by Antique Serena. My name is Walter O'Neill, and this happy one here is Sandra Palmer. Yeah, I know you haven't seen much of her lately, so you probably forgot what she looks like. <laughs> I've got more camera shy. It's been a while since we've done um, an out and about. Um, Thursday morning, we've been on the go since four o'clock this morning. I couldn't film; it was pitch black. Yeah, it's been awful this morning and raining. Miserable weather, but I tell you what, we went to spot market. Wow, spot market, no buyers eh? But oh my God, the sellers! I have filled the car, guys. I've bought oil paintings. I've bought Chinese ivory games. I've bought crystal, silver, gold. A stool. A stool. Birdcage. Yeah, birdcage. Oh my God, like wow, innit? Mm -hmm. I haven't stopped buying all morning. Hang on, bear with me a second, guys. Driving through Cardiff city centre, during works traffic is a bit of a nightmare, to say the least. Just do what they do in China and just plough out and just hope for the best. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've seen that on telly. So, yeah, been a while since we've done out and about, so I thought I'd uh, do an out and about today. I've got a car full of stock to show you, but I'll probably break, break that up into three or four films. Mm, it's loads the car. I've spent probably £300 this morning on stock. Some nice pieces, I've paid a bit of money for some of them. You know, 10, 20, 30 pound a piece type things. Um, no, he's watering now, I just joined. I'm doing really well on silver jewellery in the shop, selling brooches and bracelets and that. Rings, so I've intentionally come out today looking for little pretties. Um, and I've and had some. <laughs> oh boy, have I had some. I got silver brooches, silver necklaces, silver rings. Um, well, the, my favourite piece of the day is a Mao Jing Chinese board game or Chinese game, um, and it's hardwood inlaid with ivory, and it is stunning. I paid thirty pound for it, but it is gorgeous. It's an antique one in a wooden box with an ivory top again. But that's going to be going out probably 85, 95 pound this week. Once you've seen it, it's going straight in the shop. I'm not messing about. It's got the four boards or the you know the holders. Um, people are asking 30 and 40 pound just for the four marker holders, like. So yeah, really good good buy. I had two of those. I had a more modern version, which is just paper on wood as well. But I only paid four pound for that one. That needs a little bit of work, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. So all in all, the day has been spectacular. The buy-in's been amazing. I bought uh, one of the first buys of the day for a pound was a beautiful army plaque in brass, surrounded by um, an alloy horseshoe mounted on a wooden plaque. Somebody weren't impressed. Somebody's having it for Christmas. She isn't because you've already stolen a few pieces because I bought a beautiful solid silver helicopter charm with moving rotor and propeller and what she do? I wanna! So I already lost that for Christmas walking on the market there's a stall there selling bags with little dogs on I want one of them! So again, <laughs> for Christmas Oh, we got the matching purses Why thank you very much mister It's off like More money I want to run the name too. <laughs> so yeah, so she's doing quite well today, is this one? <laughs> and I'm down there on a Thursday, that never happens. And do you know what else we're doing? Mum is opening the shop for me and we finished early, it's nine o'clock, so we're off for breakfast. Oh yay! <laughs> Before we take over on the shop, we're off for breakfast. So yeah, really happy. Make sure our bellies are full. <laughs> we're laughing for. Uh, Tell you what though guys, oh god, there's been some stuff down there today. Do you know, I've been going down there for months and there's been nothing to buy and sell in bin pool. I take a shop on, all of a sudden this block decides to go, oh I'll have a revival now. But well, that's really, really good because we get to buy the stuff. Oh yeah, it's uh, some beautiful gear coming in this morning. Mm -hmm. One gentleman there is selling, everything he's got is new old stock. So it's brand new, never been used, but it's old gear, it's good gear. And he's got everything from Swarovski crystal, you know, I the, can't the say big that. pieces, you know, but he wants 100 quid a piece, um, all the way down to I bought a set of boxed, set of six Hawk glasses by Webb Corbett. 
and these are big 8 inch hot glasses set of 6 in the box for 22 quid I get between 10 and 15 pound a glass for hot glasses web Corbett so in all honesty it's 75 85 pound going on that set with my eyes closed that's the type of gear that's been coming in today it's been Shocking. seriously seriously good I come down here with a wedge in my pocket which was really nice for a change rather than being on a budget um, it was one or two pieces here I could have bought but I chose not to. It was through choice. But it was through choice, not because I didn't have enough money on me. No, because I was trying to be careful with money. I come down here this morning, just for a morning out. Pick a few bits up. Oh. Excuse me. Pick a few bits up and, um, you know, just see you, you know, have a day out, have a break from the shop, get back to it. Because we haven't, I haven't been buying for the last two weeks because I've no. been so busy setting the shop up. It's the first time for us to go to a book. So it's been really exciting uh, this morning. I'm all excited for my breakfast, I'm starving. I've been awake since four. Yeah, four o'clock this morning, guys. You know, it's hard work. But it's rewarding. It is, uh, I love it, I do. And I do. You know, if you get a taste for this, you're hooked, you really are. I'll be doing my creation video this week. Thanks for that, you just rubbed me off the road. Um, I'll be doing my creation video this week as in the history of how I started up and everything and I'll explain it all to you in that video, you know, how you become addicted to um, to the antiques game if you like. Um, yeah. I can't help it, I'm, I'm quiet, I'm trying to leave him talk. I've been watching videos myself and I'm kind of cutting him up a bit and I'm being, you know, so trying to lay back a bit, which oh, is... Oh, thank you very much. I know. You're letting me talk. I know. It's a first for everything. But at the same time, I'm feeling a bit too laid back, so I might just have to cut him up as normal. <laughs> Why don't you tell him we're having breakfast? Well, I was opening a kebab, like, but, you know, <laughs> they're not open this time of day, so... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure I can find one. <laughs> well, we're having a nice cooked breakfast, we are. Right, while well, I'm on the uh, video, you want to give a shout out to anybody? Yeah. It's my son Jack's 14th birthday. There today. we go, finally. Like Hi, baby. Penny drops. Hey, I knew it was his birthday. Of course, we are. Happy birthday, Angel. Look what I got, Jack. There's another one cost me more money. <laughs> <laughs> We're going away on Monday as well, so he's going to be. Uh, it's a locksmith. Ah. You can get me safe. He's going to be happy. He's taking friends away on holiday. You'd be pleased to know, guys. I'm going to pay a locksmith to get into my safe over the next few weeks, so that I can uh, put the stock in the shop. So once I open the safe up, I'll give you a little sneak peek. Oh, you're, gonna, you're gonna have to get that open. It's gotta open. Yeah, so. it's gonna have to get opened. Um, so yeah, you know, I'm uh, I'm losing my chain of thought while I'm trying to drive here, and there's it's, people everywhere. Traffic's really bad today. It's uh, well, it's quarter to nine at the moment. Well, it's nice. it's nine oh, shut up! Do you want me to turn the camera now just to show the time? <laughs> Oh my god. If you haven't missed a one bit of you guys. <laughs> no one little bit of us terrible. Ah <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Driving through the city centre, nine o'clock, Thursday morning. And what me more do you want? On his ear. Yeah. <laughs> um let me see, losing chain of thought. Yeah, pop call next week. I'm popping down for a day or two. My mum's going to uh, run the shop for me while I'm down in Puthcall. We're having a well-deserved break, really, aren't we? It's needed, to be honest with mm. you. It has been the hardest month. I've probably aged 10 years in the last month. Goodness, yeah. To the age. Stallion. <laughs> <laughs> We're out the pasture. <laughs> Enough now, before I'm dog meat. <laughs> You'll be in a can of corned beef now. <laughs> Um, anyway, anything you want to add? No, oh, we'll leave it there for a little bit. We'll leave it there for five minutes, guys. We'll uh, we'll get back to you in uh, nah, in a wee while. See you soon. Bye. Okay, guys, we're out of the city centre now. We'll be moving nice and freely along the A470. I'm doing 70 mile an hour, heading for breakfast. 
Somebody by her is super excited. She, can't, she hasn't stopped talking about her breakfast all the way. Actually, she just no. wants to eat her sausages. Actually, no. <laughs> well, we're kind of on the right line. I was actually saying about some uh, hot guy that got a really nice bum down the gym. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, she was. was. <laughs> Apparently, he wears shorts right up his bum. <laughs> Yeah, I go, I go down for workouts, see, I'm going to have to work out what time the little ship goes down there. I mean, he keeps me in the gym. <laughs> oh, God, what are you like? <laughs> but you can always wear a tight pair of shorts and come down. Yeah, I'd empty the gym. Oh, you wouldn't. Yeah, we are, we're here. We're almost at our breakfast destination, guys. Yeah, believe me, I'm hungry. Once we've had breakfast, I'm going to show you a few bits of stock in the car. Um, plain and simple reason is I want to take them into the shop and put them up for sale this morning because they are outstanding stock this morning. Really nice pieces. I'll pro I don't know about the jewellery. I probably put the jewellery on my leg and film that because I've got black jeans on anyway so you'll see that because I have been asked in the past not to hold the jewellery up in front of the camera because it doesn't focus on the jewellery. Um, so I'll probably show you some of the bits of jewellery I've had and a couple of other pieces. The um, Chinese games they're going up for sale today so they'll be you'll see those yes some nice bits with, guys look uh, dark my ears gone with regards to the uh, shop guys um it was the first week yesterday I opened on a Wednesday and it was up to Wednesday yesterday and it's been very good the first couple of days were a bit slow but the take-ins were still there. The weekend was disastrous. I had hardly any sales on the we weekend. We had Hurricane Brian. Sorry, guys. But we did have a hurricane, as Sandra just said there. My brother's name is Brian, so I texted him and said to him, Stop raining on me! She I found did. it quite hilarious. She actually did. I did. Um, so, yeah, Saturday and Sunday are going to be a battle. I'm going to have to work really hard to get the trade to come to the shop and for people to know I'm open on the weekends because in Mountain Ash, a lot of the stuff isn't open on weekends. So, yeah. Gentleman came in yesterday, wants me to buy a load of spoiled blue and white pottery off him. Um, must be 40 or 50 pieces. We come to a deal of £140. So I gotta go and pick that up today. It's teapots, candlesticks, chargers, meat plates, uh, vases, jugs, it's all sorts. By the time you add it all up, I'm gonna probably pull three or four hundred back off it all. Um, it's gonna take probably six months to sell, but it's a good double your money, if not more, profit on there. Um, it's not normally the margin I work on, but when you, when the stock's coming to you at the shop and it is, you know, clean, saleable stock, then you know you just gotta pay the money for it. It's that simple. It's right at this present moment in time. He's happy that my kitchen is red. You can give me the 140 quid and have it all if you want it. How can I do that? I've got a red kitchen in one There you match. go, in one match. Wait till she sees it all and she's kicking and stamping her feet. Because it's all spode, Italian pattern and Mandarin pattern, guys. But then, do you know what I'll do, guys? Go on, go on. You Some already of know 19th it, century. What am I going to do? I'm just going to go... <gasps> Christmas? You've had enough put away for Christmas, madam. I know. So, the buy-in side is going really well in the shop and so is the sell-in side. Saw a few dealers down in the, the boot sale this morning and I've asked them if they'll put uh, leaflets on their car boot sale stalls to advertise to the traders that I'm there. Sandra says to me, what do you want to advertise in Cardiff for? And then I said, well, the dealers like us come from the valleys down to Cardiff who don't know about the shop yet, we'll see them on the stalls because Spot and Bessman are, you know, they're, they're the two main ones around our area and people travel from everywhere to go and see them. So they were a definite must. So I spoke to a couple of people and they're gonna put some signs up for me next week um, and advertise the shop for me at the car boot sales. There's a cafe we're going in now. I would ask them to put a sign up, but I haven't got them on me. Um, but anywhere I go, I'm just gonna ask them to put signs up. If it's within driving or walking distance of the shop, you know, anything up to half hour, where I'm gonna put a sign on because the traders will travel. Um, when they're looking for a really special Christmas present, you know, they'll go there. And if uh, things keep improving the way they are, 
then it's going to be a really wonderful, successful shop. Yes. And all I can say, you guys, is I'm seriously happy with it. Here we go, we're at the cafe. Cafe we're going in today is the Albion Cafe. And God, is it busy in there. It is, and I'm hoping we can get a seat. But they do nice food, guys. Not as nice as the restaurant next, or the cafe next to me. They, it's a Chinese lady, and she does Chinese noodles, sweet and sour and that, but they also do full English in the mornings. Oh, God, what a breakfast. Every time I have one, I send a happy pick. Yeah, well, now I'm at the Albion. So, we're off in for our breakfast. We'll see you soon, guys. In the North has nice cafe, apparently. Okay guys, so we've got a couple of minutes of quiet time here in the shop, so I'm going to show you some of the jewellery I bought this morning. Here we have a beautiful solid silver helicopter charm. All mobile propellers and things. Unfortunately that's already been whipped now, that's going to be a Christmas present for Sandra. So, there he is. Seen it and gone. Take up guys, because it's mine. Okay guys, sorry, somebody came in the shop, so I had to stop filming there. That answers your con uh, question, Connor. If someone comes in the shop, I'll stop filming and edit it out. Okay, so, back to where we were. Some of the buys of the day. You just saw the helicopter that I gave to Sandra. We move into some sterling silver rings I've bought. Some really pretty rings. These have all come in. Sorry, how much was the helicopter? Five or was it six? £5 to give it to you for. I think it was £5 yeah, for the was helicopter, five. guys, but unfortunately it's been swiped already for Sandra. Oh, guys, the I, rings. Have, I have a charm bracelet for Christmas, and I don't. I like that. I've been on a helicopter ride. And Who took you? Edward. Walter Edward O'Neill took me. And I think that's a memory, is, is a memory of something that can be on my charm. That means something to me. Anyway, guys. Sorry, guys. Some silver rings, as you see, these were five and four. I paid a fiver for a silver bangle. We have a couple of Scottish Miracle brooches. Miracle being the company that made them, not that they're Miracle. Uh, miracle is a company that done brooches in Scotland using locally mined stones agates and things like that you have a nice little bracelet here set with all different color glass stones uh, lots of silver all little knickknacks obviously as you see a little delft silver ring um, marker seat ring i got a couple of seriously nice brooches guys this one here is a signed austrian brooch it's actually signed on the back, it's not just 925, it's got a full script uh, made in Austria and everything and the artist signature and name and everything on there. So that one needs a bit of research, it's stunning though. But I paid money for it. Um, I paid £15 for that one because it's artist signed, Austrian, solid silver um, and it is quite spectacular. This one here is gorgeous again it's uh, solid silver marker seat and i'm not sure what the black stone is it may be glass could be a bit of on nah, i was going to say onyx but it's i don't know it's um probably black glass but it's 1920s looking at it it's fully hallmarked beautiful silver brooch now i paid a tenner for that one but it is quite something we got some moonstone uh, you saw the Delft ring, the Marquisite ring, we got some cubic zirconia rings. Here, quite interesting, the gentleman was saving all the little bits of loose earrings and things. And he thought he'd have a go and he put a blowtorch to it. And this is what he made out of the silver earrings and things. So that, believe it or not guys, is a lump of silver that he melted in a, you know, a pestle or something. And poured it into water and that's how we finished after he'd done it. He gave it to me for free because I spent a lot of money with him with jewellery. Um, but there's not far off an ounce of silver there where he melted all the crap. We got a really nice silver and enamel horseshoe with witch's hat if you like. That's a beautiful little brooch. Cost me a tenner again, mind. Here we have a gothic cross. Really nice. I love the 
the gothic style to it. That came in for a pound. We got silver bracelets and ear gold earrings and everything in there with a bit of stone. Not sure what the stone is yet. Um, that was three pounds. We got a nice selection of little silver earrings, some heart necklace, dolphin necklace, and some bits and bobs. That cost me two pounds. These guys I absolutely adore. Two brass dishes with a big silver medallion in the middle. You can see the hallmarks there, 925. They're Greek, that's the Pegasus, and this is the Greek harp. Again, all fully stamped up. 925. There we go. So they're quite nice. Two big dishes, quite a good weight to them. Obviously, there's a lot of brass there. Uh, but with big silver medallions, sterling silver medallions. Now, I paid a tenner each for those. And I paid £20 for a solid silver mirror. But as you know, I done an experiment the other day showing you how much silver's in one of these mirrors. And it was best part of four ounces of silver, between four and five ounces of silver, depending on the mirror. So there's 30 to 40 pounds of scrap in these mirrors. So that's absolutely fine. But I'll try and retail, retail it out first. So all in all, the jewellery side is not a bad little haul. That and that are going to be money. And that one, they're going to be good money. Now I can see this one being at probably 45 to 55 on its own. That one being about 30, 35 and probably 25. So already there you're talking money. You know, we've got a Rene Macintosh enamel design there. Loads of rings, and the rings, to be honest though, if I show you the prices I'm getting for rings, and I'm selling lots of them, well, you can see gaps already from today, and I'm filling them up all the time. You know, there's the prices I'm achieving on rings. They start at eight pound, and they go all the way up to 20. So, and I'm actually achieving them prices, guys, so. As you can see, work it out. Even if I set a ten or a piece, it's 10, 20, 30, it's 40 pound back just on those few rings by there. So that's a nice little earner there. Uh, yeah, more than happy. And of course, Happy Bayer loves all the jewellery. Of course I do. She wants all the jewellery I've bought today. Did you see me? I was looking in the cabinet. Uh, <laughs> Happy bought me. <laughs> Sandra. <laughs> I like this one in the front. Sandra, her sister Cindy, everybody, they've all got stuff put away on layaway uh, for Christmas. Mine's not layaway, mine's put it away now or snap my foot away. I'm trying to get this ring, bring the camera over. This is what I'm nagging for guys, this one right in the front there. That one, the second one in, absolutely beautiful. I love it, I do, don't I? Uh -huh. That one. You know, I'm, I'm surprised they're still in the cabinet. <laughs> I know, you've had enough. <laughs> I know. You've had more than enough. I know. I am spoiled. Sand, will you uh, model my birdcage, please? I can put that up for sale then. Yes, please. I bought a really nice vintage um, tin birdcage, if you like, guys. Um, now, I thought it'd look really good in a florist or something with flowers in it. It hasn't got to be for birds. It's gorgeous, my guys. You know, it really is really nice. Let me stand back, get a real good look at it. Turn it, uh, turn it. Yeah. That's it. I'm trying to get the light on it. Now I paid all of two pound for that this morning in Splot, and it really is absolutely lovely. I don't know if the camera's catching how nice it is. It's got a stunning look to it, and the way I looked at it, you could use it for a bird if you wanted. It's not very big. What I'd use that for would be decorative, maybe put a nice flower or something in there and hang it because it comes with a hook on the top. So that's my birdcage guys. I'll show you uh, another one or two pieces and then the rest of the stock you can see in another video for another day. Okay guys, so I'm not doing furniture in the shop but this is small enough that I can fit it in and it is beautiful. It's not a lot of age, um, but look at the quality of that. What a beautiful stool. Uh, you know, we're talking real nice quality. Uh, now this was down in Splot this morning and dealers were caught, no, sticking their nose up at it for a tenner. 
seriously, they wouldn't pay a tenner for that in the boot sale this morning. Now I'm going to put 35, 40 quid on that stool, no problem whatsoever. Um, and to be honest with you, that'll probably go tomorrow on the Friday rush hour. So, there we go. You're talking a reproduction stool, guys. But what a beaut, real quality. Solid wood, not chip wood. i got to tighten it up. It's a little wobbly. But you saw the bolt underneath. It's easy to tighten up. Just tighten the bolt. Um, we got there. A probably 35, 40 pound stool. No problem. Okay, guys. So, another piece I bought this morning. Which is absolutely stunning. Really nice look for um, the antique shop. There we go. I know a lot of you girls are going, Ugh, really? Jewelry shop when you're putting stuff like that in? Do you know this? SM and BP Limited. Big bronze cap on the top. You know, that's going to look absolutely stunning. I know you, you're thinking, really? I wouldn't put that in the um, shop. But I tell you now, where are we going to put it? I may put it somewhere up by the railway lamp there and it'll give you the really good look. Um, just looking around. Sand, I need somewhere nice to put this. I know where I'm going to put it. Right, bear with me guys, you older. Have a film of the jewellery or something while they're waiting. Jewellery done there I like that in the back guys, it's a sterling silver charm bracelet. I really do like that, I got a camera on it, a little car, a cross, it's gorgeous. There's loads of little bits I like in your mind. Anything to do with silver is a girl thing. And sterling silver again, it's a fob medal. See? Some nice stuff. Sorry guys, I'm not as good as I do. Okay guys, so. That's what it is. It doesn't look as good from this side, I grant you. But when they're out this room now and they're coming through, there it is up on top. Looks good. I'm happy with it by there. I don't think it'll be there for long anyway. Or I may move it and put it where the spoons are there. I might do that. Yeah, we'll do that and I'll give you a look at that now. Sand, carry on filming, love. Go and look at something you like. Sand! Sandy! Look at her out there, she oblivious to the world like. Sand! Yeah. Hello! Come and, come and film for five. We Hello. work in by ya. Come and film, show them some more bits you like. Okay. Show them the rings or something you like. Oh god, no. <laughs> I'm staying away from the rings. However, I will show you these. Beautiful, beautiful bracelets. Look at them. Oh my god. I'm in love with that one over there, the heart one. Oh, where is it? That one. Um, we have a baby bracelet in the back for here. The second one in is way too small for my wrist. I love that one too. Just to be honest with you, I think I like them all. Just trying to find certain ones that will fit me. Because some of them are very, very small. You know, they're for a, a small girl. Right. No, I'm showing them this one as well. And this one in the front for here. That's another favourite of mine, that one. Really do love that one. It's more over beer. Look at the necklaces, guys. That one's my favourite necklace. The pearl for there. is beautiful. That's real pearl, nine carat gold. But we don't care. We like that one. That's the one. Absolutely superb. I got some nice favourite stuff. You nice. can imagine how bad I am. I can't um. Hey, go on. Let's give you a little look, guys. You can see. Are you both there? There you go. Happy. I'm happy with it. There. It looks good. Ties in with the feel of the shop. It's a lovely old can, and believe it or not, I think I chucked 18 or 20 quid on that can now. Why not? Absolutely I'm not going to show you any more stock in today's video, guys. I think you've seen enough. Um, I've got loads more, but that's going to be filmed for another day. So, I'm going to put you up by our sand. Do you want to come say goodbye? Yes, I'm going to say goodbye. Hopefully they can see us because I can't I'm not screen up. Oh. There you go guys. Um we're gonna call over there. <laughs> you banned. You can't, can you? Banned. Go, now look look the jewelry. <laughs> I rubbed it off. Look, <laughs> blew it off. <laughs> anyway guys, there you go. That's Time it for uh, today. We're gonna leave it there. 
Hopefully you've enjoyed watching the video. It was a bit of an out and about, but you ain't gonna get that often now because I'm in the shop more than often. And I'm in it as well today. And of course Sandra's in it today, but she hasn't been for a while. So you get to see old Sandra. You've seen a little bit of stock and I'm gonna show you a load more tomorrow. I'll film it now in a minute. Um, everything's shutting down now, the day's over with. So I'll, I'll film another video now before I go home and you'll see that in tomorrow's film, guys. Uh, I've got loads of really nice quality stock. It's been a really good buying day. Over the moon. I tell you what, right, just, just a second. We had a lady in a few days ago. She shot the life out of me. She'd come across from the old age centre and we were chops and she was having a look at rings and mm. she said to me, I'm 97 years of age. She nearly had to pick me up off the floor. I thought she was about 70, maybe 75 or a posh. 97. Do you know? That's a brilliant age, you know. My oldest customer, guys, walking brilliant. unaided, walking unaided, with a false senses, yeah, and with a sense of humour. Oh, she was brilliant, wasn't she? <laughs> she was lovely. She she was playing bingo and she seen the shop, so she she, she ran out to have a look. I was absolutely gobsmacked. What a wonderful lady. Anyway, guys, we're going to leave it there. Hopefully you've enjoyed. If you have, I would really appreciate the like and the share. If you're new to the channel, guys, please subscribe and leave a comment. Let me know you've subscribed, and I'll uh, I'll give you a little thumbs up there. Um, you'll find me on Facebook, Antiques Arena. I have a page and a group. You find me on eBay. Just run a search by seller, Antiques Arena clearance, and I have my own website, AntiquesArena.co.uk and AntiquesArena.com. Or come and see me in Mountain Ash Town Centre, guys, number 78 Oxford Street. Or come and see me if you don't want to see him. If you're localish, the postcode is Charlie Foxtrot 45 3 Hotel Bravo. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye for now. Don't ask me to do that Bravo stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Bye.